I'm here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, not too far from the campus of Franklin and Marshall College, a small liberal arts college. And um, one of the things about going to co or recommending colleges in small towns for some students is that they say, oh, well, I like ethnic uh, restaurants. I really want to be able to have really great ethnic cuisine. And so I don't want to go to a small town like Lancaster. Well, um, I did a quick search on Yelp when I was here just to find a place to go to lunch, and I found Ethiopian, of course Mexican and Italian, but I also uh, always look for Asian restaurants because um, I work with so many Chinese families, and I, I came across this place called Rice and Noodles, which is a, um, a, a noodle shop, a Vietnamese noodle shop. Apparently a family came here from uh, New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, set up shop here. This is a fantastic, probably the best Vietnamese food I've ever had. It's really great soup. But um, two things, you know, don't don't assume that you're not going to find really good ethnic cuisine in a smaller town because um, the United States is pretty global. Um, secondly, if you're a, a student from China, you need to do you need to do a little bit of homework in terms of what kinds of restaurants would be available. Yelp is a great site. It will tell you exactly how far from the campus uh, a particular kind of cuisine may be. So if, if you're really thinking about a small town uh, or a liberal arts college or, or something and you're thinking, I don't know if I can really make this work because of my, my culinary uh, habits, Yelp or one of the other social networking sites where you can find out exactly what is offered and exactly how far it is from campus. So don't make assumptions about small towns. Some of them are extremely international.